Welcome back friends. Today we are going to continue with our topic of status of matter. And regarding the today's session, we are going to discuss about the classification of non-ideal solution. If you were with me in the previous session, we discussed about the introduction to non-ideal solution. And we discussed about the properties of non-ideal solution. So if you remember, we explained that the non-ideal solution, they are uh, categorized with the uh, an equal intermolecular forces of attraction between the liquids which are mixed. And then at the end of the day, we'll end up with the solution having an equal intermolecular forces of attraction as compared with the pure liquids. So we said that in the non ideal solution, for example, we have uh, two components of our solution. Let's say in the non ideal solution, we have two components of solution. We have a uh, component A and B. We say the intermolecular forces AA is not equal to the intermolecular force BB and hence it is not equal to the intermolecular force of attraction AB. So this is the intermolecular force of attraction in the pure A, pure liquid A, and this is the pure liquid B, pure liquid B, and this is in the this is the, in the uh, solution, in the solution. So this is one among the characteristics of non ad solution. And if you remember, we said in the formation of non ad solution, it is associated with the change in volume. Thus, volume A plus volume B is not equal to the volume of solution. So the volume of solution is either volume A plus volume B is either lower than the volume of solution. Or sometimes volume of A plus volume of B is greater than the volume of solution. Now the reason behind is because of the intermolecular forces of attraction. As we said that if the intermolecular forces of attraction, intermolecular forces, intermolecular, molecular forces of attraction, if the intermolecular force of attraction in the solution, in the solution are greater are greater than intermolecular forces of attraction of attraction in the pure liquids in the pure liquids then what will happen manake ni kwamba tuta end up na solution ambayo yenyewe itakuwa ina ina volume ndogo kwa sababu gani intermolecular force of attraction inakuwa kubwa nilisema vitu vikiwa attracted more that means their volume tend to decrease lakini vikiwa attracted less volume tend to increase so basing on that also the pressure of a non ideal solution is either higher than that of ideal or lower than that of ideal so basing on that we we are classifying non ideal solution into two groups those having partial pressure total pressure higher than ideal than ideal we call them as a positive positive deviation and those having total pressure lower than lower than ideal we call them as a negative negative deviation negative deviation so we'll have two uh, categories of the non ideal solution non ideal solution first we are saying that depending on deviation depending on deviation of our vapor pressure of solution from predicted from roots law from that predicted by roots law non ideal solution can be classified into two categories those of positive deviation and negative deviation so non ideal solution of positive deviation non ideal solution of negative deviation non ideal solution of positive deviation from root slow positive deviation from root slow this is the solution whose vapor pressure above the solution uh, vapor pressure above the solution is uh, is greater hapo unaweza kuona maandishi kidogo ya kuwa clear lakini this is greater is greater than that predicted by roots law 
and has a weaker intermolecular force of attraction than in the pure liquids or solvent. So, here the vapor pressure iwe kubwa, here vapor pressure in the solution iwe kubwa, that means intermolecular force of attraction lazima ziwe weaker. Why it is because here vapor iwe formed, that means we must break the intermolecular forces and then the molecules must escape to the vapor phase. Kwa molecules lazima zitoke kwenye liquid phase, and let's say for example this is our liquid, if we have our liquid in the container, at the surface of the liquid we will have the molecules, and these molecules to draw up a chini, zinakuwa zimeshikana kama hivi. So that means, in order to form vapor, we must break the forces between these molecules. We must break the forces between these molecules, so as to form vapor. We must break these forces. So if the intermolecular force of attraction, they are weaker, that means it will be easier to break the forces between the molecules, and the molecules to escape into the vapor phase, making the vapor pressure in the vapor phase to be higher as compared to that of the ideal. To be higher as compared to that of the ideal. So even if above positive deviation above in a core in a solution a weaker intermolecular forces of uh, attraction. So non ID solution with positive deviation zina cause in intermolecular forces of attraction which is weaker in logo than the intermolecular force of attraction of at least one of the pure liquids. So the new intermolecular force of attraction yeah, can acquire ni weak weak to ki compare the intermolecular force of attraction ya angalau pure liquid moja wapo kati ya zile ambazo zimetumika katika kutengeneza hiyo nani ideal solution so this is uh, attained when non polar liquids are mixed with polar liquids non polar liquids they are mixed with polar liquids kwa tunafahamu non polar liquids ni za aina gani na polar liquids ni za aina ni za aina gani so the non polar liquids tend to weaken forces in the polar liquids and the hence intermolecular force of attraction in the solution become smaller than intermolecular force of attraction in the polar liquid intermolecular force of attraction in the solution becomes smaller than the intermolecular force of attraction in the polar liquids so polar liquids hence zinakuwa zina zina intermolecular force of attraction kubwa polar liquids zina cause intermolecular force of attraction kubwa and this is probably because of the presence of the hydrogen bonds hydrogen bonds which tend to hydrogen bonds which tend to form very strong intermolecular force of attraction as we know hydrogen bonds the the strongest intermolecular force of attraction among all other categories of intermolecular force of attraction now the presence of hydrogen bonds in the polar liquids provided them with the very strong intermolecular forces of attraction like in to novel mix with the non polar liquid the non polar liquid tend to weaken the force in the polar liquid and hence the intermolecular force of attraction in the solution become smaller than the intermolecular force of attraction in the polar liquid if the intermolecular force of attraction becomes smaller, then to key heat solution tatengeneza vapor kolaisi. Since non id solution with positive deviation is formed by mixing non-polar or less polar and polar liquids, then the solution is always immiscible. Solution is always immiscible. Solution is always immiscible or partially miscible. Koine is a immiscible yani schanganyike how sometimes it can be partially it can be partially. Example for non id solution with positive deviation, tunakuwa tuna solution of hexane with ethanol. Solution of hexane with ethanol. Lakini pia tuna solution of benzene and ethanol. Benzene and ethanol. Na pia, um, this is a, hexane and ethanol is immiscible. Benzene and ethanol is partially immiscible. Phenol and water is partially immiscible. Chlorobenzene and water is immiscible. And uh, ethanol and water is partially Partially miscible. These are just some of the examples. Examples and um, it's not so much important. Kwamba takavunda kusoma, takavunda kusoma. I did solution zenyewe nani and nani did solution zenyewe zero and hizo. These are just the examples. Now let's move to a formation. The process of formation of a nani did solution of positive deviation in terms of intermolecular forces of attraction. Now, let's say we have our, our example A and B, and let's say A and B, they are example liquids which we are using to explain the formation of a non-ideal solution. So, if uh, A and B form non-ideal solution with positive deviation, then A and B intermolecular force of attraction, they are weaker than A, A and B, B intermolecular force of attraction. 
So we'll have the intermolecular force of attraction between the pure liquid A. Let's say the pure liquid A is uh, maybe phenol. So uh, the, the intermolecular force of attraction between A, A, if this A maybe it is phenol. And then the now intermolecular force of attraction between pure liquid B, let's say pure liquid B it is water. It is water. Now the intermolecular force of attraction which will be formed, which is A, then B, which is um, of solution, of solution, they will be weaker. They will be weaker as compared to weaker as compared to the intermolecular force of attraction of the pure liquids. They will be weaker. So we are saying that this means that it requires more energy to break to break intermolecular force of attraction of pure liquid. Inaitajika more energy kubriki hizi yapa. And remember, bond breaking process it is endothermic from thermochemistry. It is endothermic. Bond breaking. While bond making it is exothermic. Exothermic. So that means, tutatumia energy kubwa kubriki zi bond. Lakin tutapata energy ndogo kufomu i bond. So at the end of the day, the, the formation of this solution Itakuwa ina gain energy nyingi hafu ina release energy kidogo. So the process overall will be endothermic. Endothermic. That means itakuwa ina absorb heat from the surrounding. 21 kwenye explanation. So this means it require more energy to break it up. Break of in the pure liquid A, A and B, B. Then energy li required in forming A, B interaction in the solution. And hence the process of mixing two liquids become endothermic. The process become endothermic as how I have explained um, earlier regarding the concept of a thermo, thermochemistry. So the endothermic process of making non ad solution with positive deviation is witnessed by the solution being colder than pure liquids before mixing. Kwa uki mix ila solution nakuta solution nakuwa very cold inakuwa ya balidi zaidi uki compare na virilivu kuwa mwanzoni. Due to weak intermolecular force of attraction in the uh, in the solution, total volume tend to increase. Kama nivo sema, if the intermolecular force of attraction tend to increase, then the volume tend to decrease. But if the intermolecular force of attraction tend to decrease, then the volume of the solution tend to increase. So weak intermolecular force of attraction will lead to the total volume of the solution to be greater as compared with the volume of the pure liquids. Now let's move to the characteristics of non ad solution of positive deviation. Bars in the it is a formation, this is endothermic. Volume of solution is greater. Intermolecular force of attraction in the solution, they are weaker. Because you have to discuss new things. To discuss very, very ambavo to me. To me to kianavyo kumanzoni. Kama mere wapo, tunako tunakuenda pamoja. So the, 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 the first characteristics of um, this non-ad solution. Intermolecular force of attraction in the solution, they are less than intermolecular force of attraction in the pure liquids. Intermolecular force of attraction in the solution, they are less than the intermolecular force of attraction in the pure liquids. Iyo ni ya kwanza, ambao tumesha yereza kule mwanzoni. Lakini ya pili ni kwamba vapor pressure of the solution is greater than the predicted by Root's law. And this is the one which called this solution to be called as a positive deviation. Iri uwe na ito positive deviation lazima uwe na vapor pressure ambao ni kubwa. Ya tatu ni kwamba heat is absorbed during its formation. It is absorbed during its formation and its formation is endothermic, in other words. Yane, the volume of solution is greater than the sum of the volume of the pure liquids. So during its formation, volume expand. Volume expand during its formation. Yatano to ensemble the boiling point of the solution is less than the boiling point of its pure solvent. Or is less than the ideal boiling point. And uh, Yasita, its component cannot be separated by fractional distillation. This component cannot be separated by fractional distillation due to the formation of azeotropic mixture. Azeotropic mixture nini tuanda kuona wako mbele. So on an ID solution which deviate positive from roots low form azeotropic mixture which has a low boiling point. A low boiling point kwa sabu gani? Boiling point of the solution uh, inakuwa ni ndogo kwa sabu positive deviation boiling point itakuwa ndogo. Manake uh, intermolecular force of attraction zimepungua. Tamalika force of attraction zimefanyi zimepungua. So the, the boiling point will be lower than the boiling point of the pure liquids. But uh, we are saying that but all non ad solution regardless whether deviate positively or negatively from roots low when distilled 
of one composition, they must form azeotropic mixture. So all non-ID solution lazima zi end up with the formation of azeotropic mixture, formation of azeotropic mixture. Now, let's move forward and let's start our discussion regarding the vapor, vapor pleasure molfluction phase diagram, vapor pleasure molfluction phase diagram. So let's discuss about the vapor pleasure molfluction phase diagram of the non-ID solution of positive deviation from Root's law. Now, remember we discussed about the vapor, uh, vapor, vapor composition molfluction, uh, vapor composition molfluction phase diagram of the ideal solution. And let me just repeat to draw the, the diagram here very quick so that we can compare how the ideal and non-ideal solution tend to appear in the vapor pleasure molfluction phase diagram. Let me uh, try to draw the diagram here quick. So as you can see my diagram, okay, I see that the diagram doesn't fit well in the screen, but uh, let me just, um, now let's say we have um, one solution now. Uh, we have one solution, uh, then vapor pleasure, go this way. Another vapor pleasure go this way. Just see, these are just um, just um, okay. Anyway, anyway, uh, you to turn your glove up, chole your glove, kosabu kidogo to navit vingi kwa yo kati mungine. Vitu vina kovi na vina saulika kwa ngoja tu ni ichua retena. Hii tuweze kuona inavoka kwa tunakotu na glafu kama hii hapa. Tusha eleza kule kwenye deal. Tunakotu na glafu nyingine kama hii huku. Kule kwenye deal kama utakona remember. Tuliko tumesha eleza sana ya mambo. Kwa hiyo, uh, let's say tuna liquid A huku. Huku nina liquid B. Mole fraction ya A yuko itakuwa moja. Mole fraction ya B yuko itakuwa moja. So mole fraction of B. Hii hapa itakuwa mole fraction of A. Then hapa itakuwa ni uh, pressure of pure A. Pure. Hey. Pressure of pure B. P not of B. Na huko itakuwa ni P not. P not of A. Hapa itakuwa ni place of solution. Hii ni place of B. Hii ni place of A. Unazo kona, eh, place of A ikiwa sawa sawa na hile value. Place of B na kwa sawa na zero. At this point, you see, place of B is equal to zero. Place of A is equal to this value. At the, at the same point, kama tunakona na point nyingine, place of B ni sawa sawa na hile value. Pleasure A na kuwa sana zero. Lakini hapa katikati manake pleasure huu na huu tuna add na pata hile pali. If you remember we said pleasure total is equal to pleasure of A plus pleasure of B. Then we said kwa mba tukitaka kuchola hapo pleasure of solution ambao hii P total iwe rabda ni iwe rabda ni ni Y axis. Uh, P total in your y-axis. So to say P total will be is equal to place of A is equal to mole fraction of A pressure not of A place of B will be is equal to mole fraction of B P not of B then pressure total will be is equal to mole fraction of A P not of A plus 1 minus mole fraction of A P not of B So a uh, mole fraction ndo iko kwenye x axis mole fraction ndo x axis na pressure ndio y axis uh, pressure ndo y axis now graph um, graph yetu tunaweza kusema hii ndo pressure less self solution so uki, uki make subject hiyo vizuri unaweza kuona jinsi gani hiyo graph itakaa tulifanya kule kwenye ideal so now kwenye kwenye nani ideal solution of positive deviation that means e pressure Let's say of A 
ita, uh, of b itakuwa imefanya positive deviation so tutachola dotted line namna hii imefanya positive deviation maana hii pressure ni kubwa tukilinganisha na ile ya mwanzo dotted line namna hii tutafika mpaka pale na hii ya a inakuwa imefanya deviation positive Tuna, tunachola dotted line namna hii dotted line namna hii hii line inakuwa kama curve fulani inafika mpaka wapi mpaka pale na pressure of the solution tunachola dotted line namna hii so that means hapa nimechola hii ndio ya ideal hii hapa ni ya positive deviation ukitaka kuchola ya positive deviation sasa peke yake positive deviation peke yake unachola hapo positive deviation peke yake so tunakuwa tuna tunakuwa tuna hivi then tunakuwa tuna hivi then tunakuwa tuna vile from there tunachora dotted line kuonyesha reference point ideal ilikuwa wapi ideal ilikuwa wapi so hii dotted line inaonyesha kwamba hapa ndipo ambapo pressure itakiwa iwe mwanzoni hapa ndipo ambapo ideal behavior itakiwa iwe lakini imefanyaje ime deviate so uh, this will be pressure of solution pressure of component na hii pressure of component lakini ndio positive deviation kwenye negative deviation tunaenda kuona hii glafu inakaa kwa kwa chini hivi na hii inakaa kwa chini na hii inakaa kwa chini kwenye negative deviation so hivyo ndivyo ambavyo deviation huwa inakuwa na unaweza kuona kwamba uh, this is also called this diagram is also called vapor pressure composition of non ideal solution now consider a solution ambayo ni ideal manake e line inkuwe mpita pale solution ideal line inkuwe mpita pale line inkuwe mpita pale lakini kwa nani ideal sunaona nani ideal so e msari mpita juu mpita juu mpita juu so pressure vile vile observed total vapor pressure of the solution this is expected hichi ndicho tulichokiona kwenye positive deviation but this dotted line is expected from roots law expected from roots law kwa hiyo hizi explanation zote na i hope hizi labeling zote tunazifahamu pure pressure of a pure pressure of b then partial pressure of a and partial pressure of partial pressure of b now for, uh, from the diagram even ndivyo ambavyo tuna tuna mark the end of discussion na kama tungetaka to draw ile diagram peke yake ungeweza kuonekana kama hivyo hapo draw ile diagram ukichora peke yake inakuwa inaonekana kama hivyo hapo Easy ni diagram za mole fraction remember unaona huku tukiweka liquid b that means mole fraction of b eh mole fraction of b huku inaanzia zero inaanzia zero mole fraction of b inaenda huku inakuja kwa ngapi inakuja kwa 1 mole fraction of a huku inaanzia zero eh mole fraction of a huku inaanzia zero huku inakuwa 1 kule tukiweka liquid a unaona pressure a iko kule na huku tukiweka liquid b pressure uh, pressure b huko b huko liquid b pressure b huko huko then kwa hivyo ndivyo ambavyo tunakuwa tumemaliza kuhusu positive deviation tumeeleza characteristics pamoja na graph yake tutaenda ku discuss negative deviation pamoja na graph yake kwenye second uh, session kabla tujaenda ku discuss kuhusu azotropic mixture azotropic mixture so don't forget to subscribe the channel and to share the link of this uh, video to your fellow students everywhere ambao wanasoma Tanzania and even other countries thank you everybody and let your wish you nice studies